Hi, today we are in a beautiful, beautiful uh, banana farm and this belongs to one Mr. Jnana Sekaran. Uh, he lives in uh, the suburbs of Chennai. So this is really amazing and this garden is so beautiful. Once it grows till there, it stops. They are called fingers. Once the fingers stop, uh, the banana flower is ready to cut. And uh, it might take uh, at least six or seven rows of fingers or it might be sometimes more also but some trees according to the size they might grow lesser and the flower has got a lot of benefits uh, if you uh, here so when you open it you have these small small flowers finger types these are the ones who convert into the bananas what we do is take the stamen out of it it'll always pop like out this. right yeah Sheila? yeah this it'll one pops pop out, out always like that yeah so you once just it have pops to out you know you just out. plug it out yeah and Throw this it. is really hard it hurts the stomach so you really shouldn't be eating this part of it yeah. the rest of it is absolutely divine nutritious healthy for the stomach and uh, all kinds of uh, dishes can be made out of it so you eat the, this completely uh, the people who have uh, the menopause issues, that gets cured, it seems. And you oh, can get out of the menopause okay. issues very easily. So obviously, and, uh, you know, it uh, helps in uh, balancing the estrogen. Absolutely. So this is amazing. I just love this. You know, I just love eating banana <laughs> stuff. Anything made out of bananas, banana flour, banana stem. Coming to banana stem, we need to talk about that now. So uh, let's go and check out some stems. Yeah, shall we? Yeah, yeah, sure. All right. Let's... Did you know that banana belongs to the grass family? Look, look at the stem. Look at the whole bark from the way below to how it grows. It just looks exactly like the grass. If you checked a little blade of glass, grass, it would just look exactly like a banana plant. Hmm. So it belongs to the banana uh, grass, um, grass family. family. I never knew that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> and now, the best part of this is every part of this banana is so useful to health. Now, not only to health, in other ways too. Yeah, we, what do you call it in Tamil? Varanar. Varanar, exactly. Mm. <laughs> and the nar is so beneficial. See, you can cut them like these in thin slices. Slices, and that becomes the rope. See how and strong it is. Yeah. You just can't break it like this. You definitely need a scissor to cut it. Yeah. So, it. Yeah, nope. see, it's see, I'm strong. pulling it. It's I'm pulling it. Yeah. That's why when you make garland, they are very strong. Mm. Yeah. And we never use the right uh, thread. Correct. To Correct. make the garland. So these are natural uh, threads, you know, that comes out of the uh, banana plant. And then this stem can be cut down completely after the first harvest of the bananas have been taken out. Why? Because once the first harvest is, harvest is taken out, it cannot produce another bunch of bananas. So now, we don't waste this. We use it in other ways. So what we do is we cut this down, and then we cut the outer layers, because the outer layers are the ones that form the fiber, that you know you can make uh, beautiful clothes, like saris, yeah. right? Yeah. The, the banana fiber sari and yeah. uh, uh, the, the loin cloth that the men wear. Yeah, yeah. Are they beautiful? Yeah, yeah, and they are supposed to be the purest form of fibers. Right. Yeah, you can wear it for any occasion. Mm -hmm. And yeah. you don't get any allergies. Yes, you never get it. You don't get, you know, no itching of the body because, you know, synthetics cause those kind of problems. Yes. And these things don't cause that problem. And then, of course, as you keep on removing the layers, you come into the inside, which is white in color. And that white layer is, oh my God. It is the best part because it is so healing. It is not only healing, it even reduces your weight. Who wants to reduce their weight? Do you want to I, reduce your I weight? I really want to waste my tires. <laughs> I have here. That's exactly Little what it does. Obesity. So how do we take it in order to reduce weight? Come on, tell me. Yeah, there are uh, three or four mm. ways of doing it. First, I would suggest us you just cut them in small, small pieces. Mm -hmm. Boil them. The, the white part, yeah, right? The white from the inside part. Of white this. part. Yeah. yeah, you might get fibers in right. them also. Right. So when you cut them, uh, cut them in such a way that you get the fibers and then take out with your fingers okay. like this mm -hmm. and take them out. Right. And then cut them in small pieces and make two, three dishes out of it. The first dish I would say is take very little oil, 
put some sesame seeds and uh, add these pieces to, to and it. Saute it. Saute it a little mm -hmm. bit, mm -hmm. and uh, within one or two minutes, just cover right. uh, cover it and uh, cook it. In one or two minutes, it will cook. Add very little salt because already it has salt. And if you can have without salt, mostly less. we add it at the end. At the end, right. yeah. And after that, if you want, you can still add a little co coconut, uh, grated coconut to it, mm -hmm. or you can just have it like that. Mm -hmm. Even this small two or three spoons every day will reduce the obesity in your body. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll help the a lot. Obesity, yeah. yeah, obesity mm -hmm. and cholesterol. Cholesterol, so cholesterol too. Cholesterol, and yes. Dusty. The bad right. cholesterol, especially. Right. And, and the, the juice of it. Yes. The next item is the juice. Uh, you have the juice separately, which actually removes the kidney stone, the existing kidney stone, and also it avoids forming further stones. Correct. That's absolutely fantastic, isn't mm. it? Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and one more. Later, I just go organic and natural and absolutely, you know, so, absolutely. You know, for good There's health one more small lunch. dish which I can add to it. Uh, when you are cooking uh, the small pieces in oil or very little oil, yeah. you can also add the fenugreek leaves mm. to it. Mm. That gives the flavor mm -hmm. as well as it also helps in healing whatever parts mm. the cholesterol has reduced. Right. So uh, this, the banana stem, not only is healing, it is full of fiber. Yeah, So absolutely. the fiber is so amazing. And so you reduce weight, you're, you're removing your kidney stone. The outer area mm -hmm. and you squeeze it on your skin the skin starts glowing, okay? And when uh, somebody is burnt, and the skin becomes very soft because the skin comes out, peels out like. So when you are squeezing the juice of the outer layer of the stem, the inner bark. Inner bark and outer bark, anything uh, you anything. can squeeze. Okay. Anything you can squeeze. Anything you can squeeze. And uh, what happens is it, it, it removes the impact of the burn. Antiseptic, so, basically it's an antiseptic. It's also antiseptic. Septic. Yeah. So uh, this this is an amazing. You know, that's the reason why they call it Kalpa Vriksha. Kalpa Taru, Kalpa Vriksha, anything. Yeah. And that means something that just brings vitality, vitality to the body, vitality, uh, overall vitality, and uh, energy and strength and healing and beauty. You know, and because you know. Everything about it is so amazing, from the fruits, you know, iron, potassium, and uh, all the uh, minerals and uh, vitamins that it gives us, iron, so it's, it's just so amazing. The most important is when hot food is served on this, the nutrients from the leaf get into the food, they get absorbed into the food, right? Absolutely. And yeah. also it gives a good flavor, and gives a good flavor. So I sometimes like to even steam things with banana leaf. Uh, I put it, uh, I put the banana leaf underneath, mm. and then I add items on top of it and I steam them. Wow, fantastic! Yeah. Because the the flavor comes into the food then.